Hi. So your character is polarizing, as we've learned throughout the, the first half of the season. She's very mysterious. She also is the only one that Claire seems to have an ability to connect with. Do you think your character is going to take advantage of that in the second half of the season? Hmm. Galis does whatever she needs to do in order to get what she wants, basically. But it doesn't mean she's ruthless and she doesn't have a heart. And that's so interesting about the character that there's two. If you think Galis is polarizing, I think she's kind of polarized within. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. she, she has, she's on a mission, and you'll come to see what that is, and it'll, it'll be explained why she is a certain way and what she's been hiding all along. I think that's fascinating. A lot of masks will come off. Mm -hmm. If I could just change topics just a little yep. bit. Um, so you're here in New York for the premiere last night, which was pretty nutty. Um, and I, I know that you've got a lot of experience working on other films in other countries. Obviously, you're not American. Tell me a little bit about your impression of this fandom versus other experiences you've had. Okay, this fandom is something I've just never experienced. I just haven't. I mean, I know that it happens. <laughs> it's just never happened to me or something I've worked on or I've not experienced it so far. And you know me being Dutch, it's the Dutch are really pretty down to earth and you know being fan of anything at all seems a bit outrageous and a bit you know larger than life and that's not really something we entertain in Holland so <laughs> so it's it to me it's it's I mean it's kind of overwhelming it's it's lovely though it's in fact it's, it's what you want you want a show to be received with open arms and that's exactly what happened and what's still happening and people seem to want to get more and more and more and you know they're I guess it's like a snowball effect as well. The fans just being so into it, and then even people who hadn't heard about the books, they're now you know starting to watch the show and, and loving it. Yeah. Have you talked to um, the author about the development of your character at all? What happens sort of in the future? Has that helped you color what you're doing now? We I've spoken a bit with Diana about what's gonna happen. Um, you know, over dinner with a few drinks. So <laughs> it was just a lot of fun. But you know, it's it's something I like to keep as a surprise as well. I get informed by just whatever fans tell me, really, and on social social media. Uh, but I haven't read ahead yet, and mm -hmm. also, even though we stick to the books pretty pretty tightly, it's not it's not um. You know, it, I, I I don't like to read ahead. I get I guess I kind of want to be surprised by the by the scripts when I get them. And uh, but I do know that there's that there's more to come. So good. One final question about the fandom, and I have to ask this. We read in a lot of press reports from you and from the other stars of the show, um, this quote, fans are very passionate. Is that a code for these fans are raving lunatics? <laughs> I mean, I would never call anyone a raving lunatic. You know, wow. people are driven by what, what they like, and you know, obviously they like Outlander, and I can only, you know, that's the most positive thing you can get. You know, it's not like they're hating Things. They're loving us and in a very passionate way. Yes, I, I can only say that's fantastic. That is that is very nice, actually. Yeah, right? right? I, I mean, mean, that's you what you want, it, right? That's the most positive thing you can do you, to fully embrace something. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. What's it like shooting in Scotland? It's, uh, it gets a little rainy, which <laughs> in itself is not even, you know, it can be quite refreshing because you, you just feel that you're on an island. It's just, it's very fresh, you know, but it's, um, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it gets dark early. And in a winter, that's kind of, you know, there's not a lot of time to shoot. And, you know, after a late lunch, you can pretty much go to bed and just, you know, call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, but the people are just the warmest, loveliest, nicest you'll ever meet. I mean, I guess they kind of make up for the rain and, the, you know, the, the circumstances. And, you know, obviously the rain makes, I mean, look at the, look at the show. It's so green and lush. It's mm -hmm. just wonderful. If there was one final thing you would like the fandom fans to know about your character, what would it be? Um, I would like the fans to know that there's going to be a lot of uh, revelations um, to my character, and I think a few other characters as well. It's, things are going to get more intense in the second half of the first season, and that's just very thrilling to watch.